But Fred Smith will be joining us later in the bulletin. So we look at the national picture where 7,616 cases have been recorded. In the meantime, though, doctors and nurses at Confanochi Teaching Hospital are kicking against the move by management to introduce cloth face masks for clinical duties. Leadership of the Ghana Medical Association and Ghana Registered Nurses Association insist the use of unapproved and unsafe protective gear will endanger the lives of their members. Love News has intercepted a jointly signed letter by the two groups in protest of a management decision they describe as dangerous. Ashanti Regional Director or the Chairman of the GMA, Dr. Parkwesi Beidu, has been speaking with Erastus Asari Donko, who filed this report. Demand for good quality personal protective equipment for health workers has soared with the emergence of COVID-19. Many frontliners have been exposed to risk of infection, with 20 of them having tested positive to the virus so far in the region. A letter dated 24th April 2020 by the Trauma and Orthopedic Directorate notified all clinical teams of availability of cloth masks, particularly for staff at low-risk COVID-19 areas of work. The announcement has been met with stiff resistance from the front of the various health staff associations. A written response dated 22nd May 2020 by the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association registers their disagreement to the use of cloth masks for clinical duties. Leaders demanded scientific evidence of effectiveness of cloth masks in preventing infections in such environment. Dr. Parkwe Sibedu is regional president of the Ghana Medical Association. I agree with the GRNA. We were urging the various hospitals, I mean nurses, doctors, to insist on getting the right PPEs. Because as you remember, Ghana Health Service is wondering why so many healthcare professionals are getting the viruses. And if you talk to the administrators, they will tell you nurses, doctors, um, pharmacists, or healthcare workers in general are not getting the viruses from the hospital. You see, they are denying it, trying to. When you tell me they don't think those who had it got it from the hospital, you are shifting the blame. And it's on this basis that I, as a divisional chairman of the um, Ghana Medical Association, and based on the evidence that is available, we're demanding that if you, whichever hospital you may be in Ghana, when your managers tell you to use a cloth mask in theater on the wards, they will always tell you it's been approved by FDA. And I associate myself with um, what the nurses, the Ghana Registered Nurses Association has written. They should provide the evidence. They said FDA. They should provide the evidence so that we scrutinize it. When was the test done? Sample size. What was the methodology? So that we can scrutinize this. And if it meets the criteria for safety, then we can do it. But it's not just enough saying FDA has approved it. Mind you, use the cloth mask, the white ones that are being given the hospitals. Use it and see whether it will be easy breathing through this. And I just finished a five-hour surgery. If you have that one, I'm sure by the time you are done with it, you'll be sick yourself because, you see, exchange of oxygen is so difficult. So you may be taking in the carbon dioxide you are breathing. Hospital management will not immediately comment, but closed sources say adoption of the cloth marks is backed by authorization by the Food and Drugs Authority. Dr. Pa Kusibedu, however, insists such approval is not enough. We, the list, you see, we will all prefer the N95 with the goggles, uh, screen, and all that. But if it's not available, the list we will demand or we are asking for is this surgical mask. This is not even foolproof. Some research will tell you viruses can even pass through this. And what's more of the cloth mask? So they should make sure they protect their workforce. A 2015 randomized trial of cloth and medical masks for healthcare workers by physicians at Kirby Institute at the University of New South Wales found higher rates of infection in cloth masks. 
Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaridonko Kumasi. Let's now hear from a former priest of the Sacred Heart Parish at Bolgatanga who is discouraging the stigmatization of persons who are living with or have recovered from COVID-19.